Holy shit. No way. No way. <gasps> this build is fucking broken. Nice, now you die. Hello. I was making my way into... Stop. Not here. I was making my way into another Remnant Legends episode. So far, so good. But this time, I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to do another AD carry with ridiculous damage. Oh, that's for the next video. But there you go. I hint. One, two, three. I had in mind a mage. I wanted to do a Rolling Soul using a Star Killer with Space Crabs. But it didn't work. I was very disappointed. What a piece of shit. Back to the blackboard. Making formulas. Looking all of the 166 freaking champions this game has. To see which ones I can fit into Remnant 2. And then I found her. Asiopia. She's a bit toxic, but I'm sure she will change. So, with her long tail inside me, pause, I mean inside my head, I went back straight. Ayo, can I stop doing this, please? <clears throat> Thank you. Back to Remnant 2, directly to theory crafting. One thing I needed to have for sure was something with poison and damage over time. We have corrosives, so that's enough. For the dot, we have ritualists, and you know what's even better? They share the same name of the skills, Miasma. And even the same color, mwah, chef kiss. So this is my first pick, but that's when the dubs came out. And my first doubt was, are you guys liking the videos I'm making in the Remnant Legends series? Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like and subscribe, it will help me a lot. Thank you. So, my second doubt was that I didn't want to make just another Ritualist build. I already have made one. So I started to think about it a little bit deeper. Is there something I can do to differentiate from other Ritualist builds? Thinking back to the concept of Cassiopeia, she is literally Medusa with extra steps. No pun intended. And I was missing the most crucial part from her. The petrification case. But there's nothing in Remnant with petrification. We have time lapse, but it's useless against bosses. So it's a no no. But we do have something something case. This is it. We are almost there, I promise. Into the testing ground. But I can use the far gazer on the dummy. So I needed to test the building combat. Dying in the process like many many times. Until I got the perfect match. Second archetype, Archon. So we can do the most damage with Fire Gazer. This skill is indifferent. Everything will melt anyway. Just don't take Havoc form, please. We are Cassiopeia, not Cannon. Amulet, I took Sinister Totem for the increase in the status damage. Rings, the Smash Brothers, a Haney Ring and Cinched Ring for the multiplicative damage. The Shark Boy Tooth, Band of the Fanatic for the 25% increase damage in the status effects. <laughs> Why are you so stupid? And the last one, the customer service. Timekeepers, G. <laughs> so fucking bad. And here we have. Exodia! Uh, it's not possible! Exodia! Obliterate! The secondary weapon could be anything a potato with two free slots, so we can take Firegazer and the mutator fail safe. Melee weapon is. you guys right? Krelax. We tainted wounds. And for the main weapon, I chose Sparkfire, so we can have even more elemental damage, corrosive rounds for mod, and Maelstrom as a mutator. Relic, you are free to take whatever you like. The fragments will be mod damage, elemental damage, and critical damage. If you watched my previous video from the shotgun, you should know why. You saw a preview in the beginning of what the build is capable of, but now you will see it in full motion. But one last thing, I need to... Wait. Do you hear that? I think I know what's coming. It's a montage. 